Automating boring and repetitive tasks with Office scripts is the future of automation for Excel and other Office apps, replacing VBA and macros going forward. And this is because Office scripts can be executed on both the desktop and online, whereas VBA cannot execute online and it never will be able to. Now, like macros, we can record scripts, which is great for straightforward tasks, but editing them or writing your own scripts requires JavaScript or TypeScript skills. Now, I don't know either, so I turned to ChatGPT to do the work for me, and I have to say the results are impressive. Before we get started, I should point out that Office Scripts has some licensing requirements, which you can find in the video description. Okay, let's take a quick look at where you'll find the scripting tools in Excel and the scenario that I want to automate. You'll find the Office Script tools on the Automate tab of the ribbon. Here you can record scripts using the Record Actions button, or write a new script by hand using the New Script button. In the gallery, you'll find a selection of sample scripts to try, as well as any scripts you've recently created or scripts that might have been shared with you. The All Scripts button opens the code editor pane. Here you've got recent scripts, scripts attached to this workbook, and any samples. Now I want a script to create a table of contents with hyperlinks to each sheet for this file, giving our users an easy way to quickly navigate. There are five sheets, and I want the script to add a new sheet for the table of contents. And I want to be able to use the script in any workbook. So it's not something I can record because the sheet names and number of sheets will be different in each file. Let's see how ChatGPT fares. It's essential that the prompt clearly and thoroughly describes your requirements. My prompt is write an Excel Office script to generate a new table of contents sheet called TOC that contains a hyperlink to each sheet in the current file. If there's already a sheet called TOC, delete it before creating the new sheet. Start the table of contents hyperlinks in cell B3. Format the hyperlinks in blue font with an underline and place a heading in the cell B1 of the TOC sheet with the text table of contents in black bold font size 18. Hide the grid lines on the TOC sheet and annotate the script to explain what each step does. So I'm just going to paste my prompt in and hit enter and away it goes. You can see it's annotating each step. We've got the two forward slashes that declare comments so we can easily see the steps and get a feel for what each one does, even if we don't know JavaScript. It then continues to tell me how to use the script, opening the workbook, go to the automate tab, etc. So let's grab the code and we'll go back to Excel and then we're going to create a new script. Now you can either click the button in the code editor window or remember on the automate tab we have new script here. And we can make the pane a bit wider. Now we get this standard text at the start. I don't need that. I'm going to delete it and control V to paste in my script. So there's my script. Now I haven't saved it yet. Let's give it a name. We'll call it table of contents and press enter to commit the name and it saved the script at the same time. And that's all I need to do. Let's go ahead and test it. We'll click Run. Script's done. We can see there's a new TOC sheet. Let's jump to that. It's inserted hyperlinks to each of the sheets in the file. It's made the links blue with underline and we've got a header in cell B1. Let's rename the sheet TOC. Let's test it out. It seems to work perfectly. Now, if you do have any errors, you'll get a notification at the bottom of the script. All you need to do is copy that error, paste it back in ChatGPT and tell it there was an error. It will go away and iterate and return some updated script for you to try. Now, it took me a few goes for it to fix the code when I originally tried this, and I needed to tweak my prompt a little bit to make it clearer but I had it working in less than 10 minutes, which is way quicker than I could learn the JavaScript required to write this code. Notice that my script now appears in my gallery, so it's ready for me to use. Now by default, scripts are saved to your OneDrive account and they're available in the script gallery in any file that you have open. If you can't find it there, you can open all scripts again and you've got your recent scripts 
and scripts in this workbook. Now I haven't added the script to this workbook, so let's go and do that. So under recent, we'll click on the script and here we have the option to add in workbook. So I can click on that drop down. We've also got remove from workbook if you've added it and want to take it out. Let's click add in workbook. It's going to add a button to the sheet that you currently have selected. So it's there. I'm just going to hold down control and left click to select the button and we'll move it over there. Now let's say we renamed one of the sheets. So we'll call this report instead of analysis. Instead of going and modifying the links in the table of contents, I can simply click my script. It'll go away and remove the table of contents and start again. It's giving me a status up here. It's finished. Let's go and have a look. And now it says report and takes me back there. So you can see how quick and easy they are to set up. Once you get them up and running, they're going to save you tons of time. Now, when the script is attached to the workbook, fire a button and you share that workbook with someone else. If they have edit access, they can execute that script. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Go ahead and give Office Scripts a go. Try recording your own and for more complex scripts, reach out to ChatGPT for help. You can download the Excel file containing Office Script for this tutorial from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.